hi guys happy wednesday happy wednesday it's wednesday right now i just wrapped up working i'm so excited because today is the second appointment for my esthetician esthetician girl this word we already know we've been through this before this word so today is the second appointment i am going for a facial and i'm excited last time my skin looked better and my skin is getting better and better each day and i'm super super thankful that i'm like almost past that but we still got a lot of work to do a lot of uh dark marks that needs to be uh you know gotten rid of but i'm definitely in a better space right now so of course i'm being with me um i think the actual facial should i because i'm planning to do like a whole separate video for my skin journey this year but i don't know if i'm gonna put that uh today's facial in this video or not i'm gonna have the footage ready for when i'm ready to put together a whole like sit down of the things I've been through with my skin this year. So, of course, I'm bringing you guys with me. So, let's go to get this facial. So on this day, I decided to go visit my friend Ebony and Brittany and when I got there, they happened to be making overnight oats. I had never made overnight oats before so I decided to vlog it just in case you guys were curious to see how it's done just like I was. happy saturday so i know last time we spoke i was going to the what is it called esthetician today is actually the week of july 4th weekend um so my farm has like a whole week shut down i have no work all the way until the other monday so i decided this is gonna be the perfect time for me to like tackle some projects that i've been wanting to tackle for a long time that i haven't gotten to project a clean up my oven project b clean up my um what is it called my pantry and then project c clean out my floors but listen i kind of cheated on the floors because i already got someone to come and do that for me so when i got the house i didn't take the time to seal the grout on the on the tile so it's kind of gotten dirty over time it's almost two years now since i got the house um and i just want to take care of it i want to take care of the house uh i can't seal it now because it has to be cleaned because you don't want to seal the dirt in there so Honestly, I could have done this myself, but I just I, I just didn't want didn't want to sit down and scrub the floor and seal it myself. It just sounded like a bunch of a lot of work that I don't want to deal with right now. So I contacted someone to come do that. They're gonna be doing that um, on Wednesday. So before then, I promised myself I have to clean up my oven, uh, organize my pantry, and then once they come and do the floors, I think my downstairs will be like to perfection not really perfection but like to my liking where uh, i want my house to be so yeah right now i'm just gonna start cleaning out the oven i looked at a couple of uh, youtube videos so it seems like i'm supposed to get some um baking soda and some water and just like mix that goo and then wipe that down all over the um, the oven let that sit there overnight and then the next day spray it with what's it called vinegar and then just like scrub it clean and it should be fine so that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna show you how the oven looks right now it's kind of nasty and i don't even know how it got to that point so bear with me ladies and gentlemen this is my oven before look at all that gunk down there i don't even know what that is or where that came from but yeah that has to be cleaned i've been like <sighs> yeah i just have to clean that so i'm gonna start working on that Change, yeah, yeah, yeah. My emotions are valid, 
but the goal is not to be triggered every time. Never mind, it's just life. It's okay for my sanity to choose perfect peace and now for it. Okay, so I just wrapped up um, putting all the baking soda in the oven, just wiping it down, make sure it's like completely like, you know, saturated in there. I'm going to leave it overnight. As of now, I'm going to start arranging my pantry. So I know in my pantry, there's stuff that expired in there. The stuff that has been there for, I don't know, for how long. There's stuff in there that I need that I don't even know is in there, I'm sure. So I'm just going to organize and see what needs to be thrown out. One is to stay and then from there maybe tomorrow i'm gonna go and find containers to just put everything orderly in there and just like be more organized about it that is the plan but we'll see if we get through it so let's do it so this is my pantry right now it's just a um, hot mess there's everything everywhere so i just need to get a little bit more organized and that's what i'm gonna be doing right now I am fully I didn't even know I had this the whole time. I've been looking for, um, I mean, I bought like a bunch of new foils. I forgot that I bought like this bulk size one when I moved here. So this is gonna be handy. So this is the situation on my pantry right now. I need to wipe down everything. This is all the stuff that came from the pantry. I need to sort out everything and figure out what's staying, what needs to be thrown out, etc, etc. So that's what I'm gonna be doing right now. Hey guys um i'm not quite sure where i last spoke to the vlog from what i can recall is i think it's when i was cleaning my oven so i put the baking soda down i'm just gonna be on the real real i didn't get back to do uh, finishing that task like until two days later i think i finished it on was it sunday or monday monday i think i think it was monday yeah i think i went back and finished it on monday so basically what i did on monday is i took some vinegar and a spray bottle and i sprayed all the all the the baking soda that was like all stuck in the oven and then basically it was just like a scrub i did like a little scrub and then after that i had to wipe it down with some water and then the oven is li literally looking spanking new it's so clean i'm so glad i did this actually i plan to lay some foil down there so i don't have to go through this again so yeah it came out pretty good i feel like it came out pretty good what else what else have i said i done oh today finally somebody came to clean my floors um so they cleaned out the grout and then after that they went ahead and sealed the grout like color sealed the grout the grout will not be taken on dirt uh for another five years i think he said i can stay up to five years with not having to clean it i mean not having to scrub the grout vigorously again for a little bit so i'm happy about that um yeah i think i'm gonna leave you to that just text i know it's a toss oh but i hate the fact that we lost such a the uber pulling up on call tell me as you trying to fall through i'ma leave it up to you what you wanna do look i'm trying to spend this time with you know we all for do what you're doing right now right now Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all long. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we could run up. Knew you from the way, now we grown up. My look, yeah, made the realest most nervous. But if you want it, clap it. I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash it. We could keep so right now, what's happening right now? Right now, I am headed to a lighting store in Brandon. I've always wanted like a chandelier up here, here, see this, oh girl, here, right, oh girl, right here, I've always wanted a chandelier over there, I don't have light on top of my ceiling in my bedroom, and I also want a chandelier downstairs in my living room, but in my living room, it's kind of like, 
how do i say it's kind of hard it's been it's taken me a while to know exactly what a style i need downstairs because i do i want a nice chandelier but i don't want it to compete with my beautiful baby that i made myself i want it to like complement rather than compete so i think finally i saw something online that i liked i hope they still have it installed the only problem is the one that i saw is silver so i'm hoping they have like a variation of it maybe like a brushed uh, bronze or gold or black so we'll see uh, I try to call them to see if they wouldn't pick up so it's only 15 minutes away I'm just gonna go over there and see if they have uh, this chandelier not quite sure if I'm gonna buy it I don't even know what price it is but you know what it's always good to shop and window shop and see what options you have out there so of course I'm bringing you guys to the live store with me so let's go Now I'm paid by the sentence Taking my time with it Baby, give me yours So I could get some butterflies trapped in your rib cage. Let me know we on the same page Give me a little text, voice, note, or an emoji Waiting on day for your name on the ID So if you want it, tap in I think that I know somewhere That we could go to crash in And we 